Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well out there today. In our last Docker video, we talked uh, a little bit about uh, setting up Uptime Kuma as a monitoring service for the rest of your services. And then we stuck that service behind a domain name using uh, Cloudflare and Nginx Proxy Manager with uh, Let's Encrypt server side SSLs. Of course, immediately after I released that video, uh, somebody in my Discord, I believe it was Craig, brought this to my attention, that there is a much easier way to handle SSLs with Nginx Proxy manager and in this video we're going to take a look at how to do exactly that but first a quick message from today's video sponsor yourcdkey.com is a great place to get windows 10 keys at incredibly low prices so here we are on the microsoft windows 10 pro page and right here you can see the current price is twenty dollars and five cents but if you use the coupon code that's in the description down below, you'll get it even cheaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in here and click apply. And now our new total for Windows 10 Pro is about 15 bucks. Now I have the option to go ahead and view the keys right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Then I'll click on get the key. And then I'm gonna come over here and right there you can change the product key. So go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and change the product key right here. So I've entered my key and I'll click next. Then I'll click on activate. And here we can see that Windows is activated. Next, what we want to do is go ahead and validate the key installation. And right there, you can see the Windows 10 Professional Edition is permanently activated. So head on over to yourcdkey.com to get your next Windows 10 Pro key at ridiculously low prices. Okay, so here we are on my desktop and we can see that we've got Uptime Kuma running. Uh, this is the one that we stuck on my little project server so we can take a look at how it works and that sort of thing. And of course, over here, we've got uh, Cloudflare set up and we've got Nginx Proxy Manager uh, set up here. Let's actually go over to my proxy hosts so we can kind of see what's going on there. So the problem with running uh, Nginx Proxy Manager and using Let's Encrypt SSLs on your server is that those SSLs have to be renewed about every 60 days. So one of the problems with running uh, Let's Encrypt SSLs in Nginx Proxy Manager when you're behind Cloudflare, uh, or more specifically using Cloudflare's proxy, is that sometimes the server-side SSLs won't update unless you're using DNS challenges with your setup. So what I want to show you how to do in this video is actually I uh, have Cloudflare generate an SSL that you can then download and install in your Nginx proxy manager. And then you don't have to deal with it for up to, believe it or not, 15 years. So uh, let's take a look at how to do exactly that. Okay, so let's uh, go from here on Nginx Proxy Manager. Uh, we'll just jump over here to SSLs. And here you can see I've got a bunch of Let's Encrypt stuff in here, but I've got a couple of custom uh, certificate providers. And that's actually what we're gonna do uh, for our dbtech.click domain here. So what we'll do uh, is we're gonna come over here to DNS where we, well, actually what we're gonna do is come over here to SSL slash TLS. And right here, you can see that this is set to full and that's fine. But what we wanna do is come over to origin server. And right here, what we're gonna do is click on create a certificate. And all of this is basically fine the way it is. Uh, you can adjust this if you want to, but uh, it's gonna generate a, a 248, or sorry, a 2048 bit certificate. Uh, you can use a private key in CSR if you wanna do that. Uh, you, can, you can change this if you want to. I would leave this just as it is. Below that, we've got uh, two host names listed in here. We've got the root domain, and we've also got a wildcard domain. And right there, you can see it's star.dbtech.click, as well as just dbtech.click. And that star.dbtech.click is actually our wildcard certificate. So it will work with any subdomain that we put before dbtech.click. So very, very easy to use there. And then below that, we've got a, a how long uh, do you want your certificate to last? And by default, it's 15 years. Uh, you can do it from seven days uh, all the way up to 15 years uh, with different increments in between. Um, I don't know if you wanna do 15 years. I, that's what I've got mindset to, and I haven't had any issues, though it's only been about a week since I've done this. So, um, but just know that there is an option to do this up to 15 years. So let's just go ahead and click on create here. So, <clears throat> What we've done here is is what it well what it is done is it's created uh, a couple of different keys. We've got our PEM file and our .key file. So what we're going to do is just copy that, and then we're going to open up uh, Notepad plus plus, like so, um, and then we're just going to create uh, that. And so we're going to uh, save. Just Control S is all I did there. So I'm going to say DB Tech uh, Click .pem. Oops, I spelled click wrong. Doesn't matter. It doesn't. It does not matter what you name these, uh, as long as uh, the the you've got .pem correctly and .key correctly. So 
Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and just save, you know what, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do click SSL. Uh, we're just gonna save it in there, like so, and then I'll minimize this, and I'm gonna come over to here, and I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna come back over to here and click new, paste that and say, uh, control S for save, and we'll do uh, DB tech, oops, uh, click dot key, like so. So now we have a dot pem file and a dot key file, and we're gonna need both of those in order to make this work. So what we'll do next, uh, is actually come back over to Nginx Proxy Manager. We'll go to SSLs. Uh, we'll go, we're going to add an SSL uh, that will be custom. So we're going to call this uh, DB Tech Click. So then we're going to choose <clears throat> um, our key file. That's going to be um, this one right here. So it's going to be the dot key file right there. And then the certificate will be the dot pem file. So we'll go ahead and do that. You don't need an intermediate certificate. Just skip over that. You, you it just, you don't need it. So click save. And right here, now we've got DB Tech, click. And right here, we can see that it expires September 30th of 2036. Uh, whereas you can see these others like this one, December of 2021, October 2021. All of these are 2021, which means that here in the next couple of weeks, they're all going to have to get updated. And again, if you're not running a DNS challenge with your uh, with your Nginx proxy manager's connection to Cloudflare, it could be it, it could just not work at all. So what we want to do next, actually, <clears throat> uh, is we're going to come back over to here. We're going to back over to overview. Uh, oh, sorry, we'll go to DNS. Uh, we'll add a record. We're going to create a CNAME record. Uh, we're going to call this uh, status and at. And um, then this doesn't this doesn't matter because uh, we're actually uh, it, we're we're not going to use the proxy versus um, unproxy doesn't matter for what we're doing here. So now we have our dbtech.click uh, set up there. So then if we come back over to uh, hosts, well proxy host. Add a proxy host, we'll say status.dbtech.click. Uh, again, we're gonna leave this HTTP. We're gonna do 192.168.1.183. Um, we're gonna do this on 3001, I believe. Like so, we're gonna do uh, block common. We're gonna do public. Uh, yeah, well, block common exploits, we'll do WebSocket support. I'm gonna leave this publicly accessible. But what I'm gonna do next is actually come over to SSLs, go to SSL, and then we're just gonna scroll down until we find our dbtech.click, like so. We're gonna force that, um, and then we'll click Save. It is also at this point where you can come back over to Cloudflare and switch, uh, go over to SSLs under Overview and switch this from Full to uh, Full Strict because you will have uh, an SSL, a uh, trusted SSL certificate on both ends of your setup now. And so then what we're looking for is uh, today's date, which is gonna be right here, like so. And just like that, uh, now we've got an SSL on our server that will not expire uh, for the next 15 years. Now, here's the thing. Like, if you come back over to here and you click this and you go to certificate, uh, you're going to see that this is going to expire in approximately a year. That is on the Cloudflare side of things. They will run all of their updates and everything in the background. Uh, what we're focused mostly on right now is installing that certificate locally so we don't have to worry about uh, any certificate on our servers expiring or not getting updated or things like that. Uh, when you run a certificate this long, uh, like I said, this is 15 years where we don't have to deal with updating certificates on our side. So that's what I wanted to show in this video is kind of a way uh, to get around some of the, the issues with DNS and proxy mode and, and DNS challenges and all of that stuff. So just install uh, a Cloudflare certificate locally and just be done with it. Uh, I think that's how I'm going to handle all of this moving forward. And I encourage you to take a look at this and see uh, if it's something that will work well for you. So let me know in the comment section if this worked for you. If you've got questions, of course, I'd love to hear those as well. And I will answer uh, any of them that I can uh, or, or feel are relevant to answer. Sometimes I get some real dumb questions. I don't mean to be rude, but sometimes I just get some questions that are like, really? Did you, did you, did you be... Did you even watch the video? I asked, somebody asked me a question and my first comment was, did you watch the video? He said, no, did he go watch it after, after I called? So anyway, leave your questions down below. I'll be more than happy to answer the ones that are relevant. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. But first, of course, I do want to give a big shout out to my channel members, my patrons. Thank you guys so very much. Uh, also, if you guys want to pick up your own .click domain uh, through the end of the year, you can pick up up to three .click domains uh, through Porkbun for 99 cents a pop if you want to do that. Uh, all of that information will be available in the description down below. But with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support, and I'll talk to you in the next video.